Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where we'll show you some of the best ways to factory reset your MacBook. Before we get started with this video, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you get notified every time we publish a new video. Let's begin with today's topic, how to factory reset a MacBook. Performing a factory reset on your MacBook is crucial in many cases. For instance, if you're selling your MacBook to someone else, you would want to ensure that it doesn't contain any of your personal information. Apart from deleting all of your files, performing a factory reset will also remove your iCloud account. As a result, no one will be able to access your private data. So apart from all of this, doing a factory reset will also also be helpful when your MacBook has encountered a technical issue and you're unable to access it. In either case, we're going to show you some of the best ways to factory reset your MacBook with minimal effort. It's important to remember a few tips before factory resetting your MacBook that will make your entire job much easier. The first one is to back up your MacBook. Whether you're planning to sell your MacBook or have encountered a technical issue, make sure that you back up all of your files before starting a factory reset. This is a precautionary measure that will allow you to protect all of your data in case something goes wrong while you're resetting your MacBook. To back up your data on a MacBook, just go to Time Machine by following these simple steps. Connect an external hard drive to your MacBook and make sure that it has enough space to store all of your data. Tap the Apple icon in the top and select system preferences, then launch Time Machine from the appearing window. Now on the Time Machine, hit the Select Backup Disk button. A pop-up will appear and select the backup disk that you wish to use for the Time Machine backup, and then hit Use Disk. Lastly, opt for the Backup Automatically checkbox to automatically initiate the backup of your Mac data. The second step before resetting your MacBook is to sign out of iCloud. It is extremely crucial that you log out of your iCloud account. Since your iCloud contains all of your private files, it is really important that you remove it so that the buyer can't access any of your iCloud data. Click the Apple logo on your desktop and select System Preferences. Now tap on your Apple ID and choose Overview from the sidebar. Click Sign Out at the bottom of the screen to sign out of your iCloud account. We now want to sign out of iMessage. You should also sign out of iMessage as it obviously contains all of your private messages with your friends and family. Follow these simple steps to sign out of iMessage on your MacBook. Open the Messages app on your MacBook. Tap Command and Space and type Messages in the search box and press Enter. At the top of the screen, click Messages and then select Preferences. Switch to the iMessages tab and click Sign Out. Besides all of those steps, you should also unpair all of your Bluetooth connected devices before performing a factory reset on your MacBook. You can simply disconnect all the Bluetooth devices by going to the Bluetooth panel in the system preferences of your Apple menu. After we know the essential steps before resetting a MacBook, now let's start with the process on how to actually factory reset your MacBook. First, Start out by resetting the NVRAM of your MacBook. To do so, turn off the laptop and turn it back on again. Now immediately press the Option, Command, P and R keys simultaneously and wait for at least 20 seconds. Release the keys and the MacBook will start normally. This will clear any of the user settings from the memory and restores certain security features that might have been altered. And to factory reset a MacBook, you need to boot it into recovery mode. You can do this by turning off and holding down the Command and R keys. When you see the Apple logo, release the keys. You'll be prompted to the Mac OS Utilities screen. Here, select Disk Utility and click Continue. Then you can erase all of the data from your MacBook's hard drive. You'll see the Disk Utilities window on your screen. Now you can start moving forwards and start erasing the startup disk. Simply choose the startup disk from the left sidebar and 
and click Erase at the top of the screen. Once the startup disk is completely erased, click Done to exit out of the utility window. Finally, you need to reinstall macOS. Now you'll be back on the recovery window. Before moving any further, make sure that you connect to a Wi-Fi network as you'll be requiring an internet connection to download the macOS on your MacBook. Choose the reinstall macOS from the utilities window that you see and click continue. A pop-up will appear. Just make sure that you're continuing these next few steps to begin with the process. Now just agree to the licensing agreement and click install. Follow the process and the installation process will begin. Be patient as this can take a while to complete depending on your internet connection and your MacBook's processing speed. After macOS installs successfully, your MacBook will restart. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up your MacBook refreshed. So that wraps up our video on how to factory reset your MacBook. These steps will help you effectively reset your MacBook while ensuring all of your personal data is safe. If you found this video helpful, then please give us a like and leave a comment down below. In case you're new to this channel, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button. We post helpful and useful videos just like this one to help you tackle several technical issues related to your Mac, Windows, and even your smartphone. Anyway, everyone, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.